So how many types of internet are there? A ton. But I'm looking for one specific way to do one specific thing. So I ended up getting the Apple Airport Extreme Base Station because it's tried and true reliable and you can get free Wi-Fi on the cheap from this device. And that's coming up. What's up guys, this is Herbie from Herbie's World, show me the IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by, don't forget to subscribe, so you don't bar things, this stuff is for life hacks, actual hacking, and tech research products. Now, I got this for one specific reason. I need to have a network that's not encrypted by a different type of network, work network, to authenticate different iPhones to get firmware updates. And I thought, why not do it on the cheap by grabbing the, the tried and true, by grabbing the tried and true Apple Airport Extreme Base Station, because this is a very reliable system for getting free, reliable internet. Now, this system here, we're gonna discuss is a certified refurbished product. It's tried and true and certified. And anything we discuss in this episode, you'll find it right on the bottom right over here. So do you have a need for another secure network in your house? What are you gonna do? You're gonna go buy another router? Are you going to add more bandwidth to your existing router? No. Grab one of those Ethernet ports and pop it into the Apple Airport Extreme Base Station and you're off to the races. Let's get it. Well, more like 20 years ago, Apple used to make really cool routers. And as long as you had an existing Ethernet port, you could extend that port to four other devices. Now, this is a certified refurbished product. It is tested and certified to work and look like new. The product includes all the original accessories and it's backed by a 90 day warranty. Got this from Amazon. It provides ultra fast 802.11 AC Wi Fi, which will reach speeds for up to 1.3 gigabits. Do you have a network that you need solely for? Um, your robots, you're connecting for devices, or are you trying to do firmwares on stuff that's not impeding on your own network? That's what this is gonna be for. Now you can simultaneously get a dual band 802.11 AC Wi-Fi with the Airport Extreme. This is a really good system that can turn an external USB drive into a drive that you can share with others all through your network via and securely over the internet. This feature is called Airport Disk. It is a simple and convenient way to share files amongst everyone in the family, office, or your classroom. And all you do is connect this to an ethernet port with an external hard drive to the USB, to the USB port right over here and all your files, videos, and photos will be shared on the drive instantaneously and become available to anyone on the secure network. Whether they are using a Mac or PC, an iPad, you're gonna get a really good access for the family through here. Now, this is a new 6.6 .6 inch height with a smaller 3.5 inch base. It will have wireless printing capabilities. You can plug a wireless printer into the Airport Extreme and add it to the printer list on your Mac and it will work via Mac or PC. This also has six antennas located at the top of the base, which allows faster and more powerful connection. Easy setup via the home app um, and all you do is you can connect this via your Mac or iOS devices. It's a really convenient way of getting Ethernet, internet on a separate network 
Okay, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is to get some power. Once you plug it in, the base station will also serve as a repeater and a router. Um, all we do is grab the ethernet adapter from the router and you pop it in. And keep an eye on this orange light. And while we're doing so, we could actually go into our Apple app and you can see the connectivity while it is in here. So let me get this a little closer. Orange. It is pairing accordingly, and now it's green, which means that this is active. Now all we do is to go connect to Wi-Fi, and you will see a network that will allow you to connect. And it's as simple as that. It broadcasts on its own uh, bandwidth and you are good to go. And that should do it for this episode. If you're looking for a very simple way to connect a printer to your house wirelessly that everyone can connect to via the internet, this is going to be a simple way to do it. Well, I will catch you guys in the next one. Remember, IT means I try. Peace.